<laughs> Yesterday morning, we left Mallstar and got an early bus the whole way back to Split again. And then we made our way up to Split Airport where we actually rented a car for the next three days. Road trip number two. So the plan was that we were going to collect the car in Split and drive it the whole way up towards Zagreb where we're actually flying home from in about a week's time. We wanted to check out a few different places that we didn't get to see whenever we were up doing our trail the first time we were in Croatia. So we thought if we had a car we would have the freedom to kind of go to those places without having to rely on the buses again. So we drove yesterday from Split the whole way up towards the Prefizza National Park where we had planned on going today but we have actually woke up this morning and there has been a snow blizzard overnight a complete <laughs> snow, snowstorm overnight so we're starting to think that renting a car might not have been the best idea hopefully we'll be able to get we're really close and the main roads are plowed so fingers okay. crossed and we're gonna try and get there anyway we're gonna drive as slow as we possibly can turtles on the road so <laughs> wish us luck so we're doing it. We're going for it. We're going. We're doing it. The host of the accommodation that we're staying in at the moment has actually been the nicest man ever. He's so lovely. He helped Owen like take all the snow off the car and completely de-ice her. Check out this road though. It's mental. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my wee Suzuki Swift. To be fair, the host said that this is the worst snow they've got so far this year. So but he said it's nothing compared to what they normally get in January and February. He was like, this is only the start of it. Beautiful main road. Why am I the wrong side on that? Even in these weather conditions, people are overtaking. That is ridiculous though. Madness. There's another boy overtaking, he's overtaking that boy behind on me. We have just got our entrance tickets to get into the National Park. It was 80 kunas each, which is like maybe 7 58 pounds, something like that. So not too bad. Um, and we're very much looking forward to just spending the day walking around in the snow. We're literally just into the park and the views so far have been absolutely amazing. It is gorgeous. So we've just come down to the Falski Slop, which is the big waterfall here at the National Park and at the lakes. It is actually the highest waterfall in the whole of Croatia and it's 82 meters from the ferry top to the ferry bottom and it is savage looking. Yeah. There it was is. photos back there of whenever it was frozen over and it looked mental. Mm -hmm. So many caves. So from the moment we woke up this morning, it has literally not stopped snowing and it's really heavy so we don't know what state the car is going to be in when we get back but we'll have to wait and see when we said we were going to come to these lakes we never expected it to be snowing but it's been absolutely gorgeous and because we have visited a few national parks here in croatia we're really glad to have a completely different experience yet again There is so many waterfalls absolutely everywhere here. We did not expect like as many waterfalls as what there was. We thought Kirka National Park that we were at like maybe a month or two ago was like where all like the major big waterfalls were. We didn't expect as many here, but it is just completely taken us by surprise and it is such a beautiful place. Oh, I grab every occasion. There's nothing left for me to do. But my mind We just 
just found a wee cafe and we got ourselves some coffees and we're about to get a boat now back over to the other side of the national park. Happy woman. Happy woman. Ooh, it's nice to have a hot drink. It's so nice having a hot drink for this boat journey, which we didn't even know we were gonna have. Didn't expect a boat journey at all, didn't have a clue, but whenever we got in, we sent a scene that we both knew went over and we found out if the boat price was included in our ticket whenever we paid in as well. So we thought, why not? Boat trip. That was fun. Bye bye, Belkin. Hey, <laughs> nice one, really smooth. Hey, <laughs> Angel. <laughs> oh, it's amazing! <laughs> I'm a big fella, I'm not up at that. Big Angel. <laughs> Snow giant. <laughs> Plump. Come on, let me see. Hope you come. Not gonna lie, you're snow angel shit. Mine's much better. Hold on, let me put a head on her. Wow, it's amazing. Ta da! <laughs> okay, yeah, it's not that good. Mine wins. Yeah. This time. This time. So we did a big loop of the park and we got the boat back over to this side so it actually means that we're at entrance two so we're waiting on a shuttle bus to take us back to entrance one where we parked the car so we're hoping the bus shows up soon enough. So we made it just on time for the bus and it looks like we're the only people on it but it's the weirdest looking bus I've ever been on. It literally looks like a prison bus and it's like a monster truck all in one. We're going to jail. Strangest bus ever. Bye. <laughs> Literally look like a monster truck though. Beautiful! <laughs> that actually was quite good. You should have been a ballerina. So we've had such a good day here at the National Park and walking around the lakes, checking out all the waterfalls and it has just been absolutely gorgeous with the snow as well. We've had such a nice day and if you were coming in the winter season and thought mm, maybe it's too cold, yeah. definitely come anyway. It's so, so nice. Don't let the snow put you off. Come on anyway. We can't say that it's like nicer now than it is during the summertime because we've never been here in the summer, but it is just such a nice experience walking around in the snow and especially since we've done loads of national parks here in Croatia during kind of nicer weather. It's just such a nice change. It is really, really beautiful. And we're going home for the Christmas holiday soon, so it's getting us rightly into the Christmas spirit. We've felt so Christmassy all day, so yeah, it's made us proper look forward to going home for Christmas as well, which is really, really nice. So we're heading back to the car now, and then we're hopefully going to drive back to our accommodation. We just hope the roads aren't too bad because it has literally been snowing all day and hasn't stopped. So it could be a bit of a slow and long ride home, even though it's meant to be 10 minutes that direction. I'm intrigued to see how much snow is going to be on the car when we get back as yeah. well. And we have like no de ice or nothing like that, so we're just hoping the car's not froze over or else we're in real trouble then. But yeah, so hopefully if we make it back to the accommodation, everything today has been a complete success. Woo!